Hey guys, it's Mike with Real Life Photography, and I wanted to demo out my newest preset, my second color preset, O2 RLP. Um, I addressed in this preset, I addressed a couple of the split toning uh, issues or feedback that you gave me, um, and I think I've created a, a little bit more of a versatile preset that can be used in more scenarios, Vice O1 RLP, where I think it does very well indoors in directional light. So, uh, here's an image of my son playing in the backyard, climbing up some scaffolding, uh, and I just, I, I wanted to take a shot because he was having such a good time. It happened, uh, I took it, you know, right before sunset as the sun was starting to get down over the trees over here, uh, and <clears throat> uh, so you have, you know, it's a pretty blown out sky because I was exposing for him here. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the white balance dropper on something that is pretty close to neutral gray and then from there I'm going to go ahead and crop right there and you still have this piece of scaffold or this this overhang from the from the back porch here and we'll get, we'll get rid of that in a second in Photoshop so I wanted to show you one click with O1 RLP, um, which after tweaking it, I can make it look, I think, fairly nice. And then here's O2 RLP, where I think it addressed, it put some more oranges in the highlights and oranges in the shadows. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and bump exposure up a little bit. I'm going to raise the shadows just a little. I'm going to up the blacks. And then I'm going to go down here and address a few things in the saturation sliders, in the luminance slider. I'm going to drop the oranges just a little bit. And I'm going to up the luminance in the oranges. And right here, I'm just really watching his face. And if you guys have followed my work for any 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 amount of time, you know I, I like warm images and kind of high, high contrast images. Um, and then from there, I'm going to up the reds a little bit. And I'm just looking here at this ladder. I'm going to up the saturation a little bit on there, too, just to kind of make it pop a little bit. And you'll notice the preset does have some grain. Uh, if grain's not your thing, go ahead and drop that out. And then now I think I'm going to... Let's see, he was wearing blue jeans. Let's see if... Raising the luminance on the blues, if it does anything with that. No, it's only addressing it down there on the ladder itself. But I'm still going to up it a little bit. I think the only way we're going to address those blue jeans is maybe right in there and then dropping the highlights back down. Maybe a little bit more. I think somewhere right in there. Not so much. I don't know. Something like that. I think that doesn't look too bad. Uh, I think one way we can make this image a little bit stronger, not that it's a really strong image as it is, but it's a, a I wanted it to be a strong memory, uh, is go ahead and we'll take it into Photoshop and address a couple different things in there. The first thing that I'm going to address here is this overhang. So I'm just going to easily take that out and then the next thing that I want to address is let's turn this off transform we're gonna flip it horizontal and I like how this this you know leads you in he's climbing the ladder from the left I think it goes better uh, for the image itself, for the composition of the image. Now, when you do that, you're going to have to watch uh, any of the words or numbers or anything like that, anything that's distinctive in the direction that it's presented, uh, or you're going to get this backward situation that you have here. A couple of different ways we can address that. Uh, I mean, I could easily take this and, you know, flip it back or whatever it may be, flip it horizontally again. 
All right, so sorry, I got a little sidetracked. My son came in here. Um, so we were addressing, I mean, sorry if I'm going to repeat this. I duplicated the layer, and um, we're going to address this this issue here where the sticker is, uh, and the other image is written backwards. So you can do it several different ways. Um, I'm just going to easily use this. And just really doesn't matter here. Take it up. Get rid of all these. And I am going to layer via copy. And drop that out. Pick this bad boy up. And control T it. Just transform. And then just put it right over the top. And let's just see what that looks like. And let me adjust a little bit more. There's probably there's several easier ways I'm sure to do this. It's probably the fastest way for me just to show you real quick. And I think I'll just leave it right there. It's a beat up old ladder and you I don't think you'll even notice it. Now that you've seen this video, you'll probably notice it. I will just flatten this out. <clears throat> you'll probably notice it now that I've I showed it to you, but you probably wouldn't have noticed it any other in any other way. So there's an introduction to O2 RLP, my second color preset. Uh, let me know what you think. It'll be available in the store today. Um, if you guys, if you uh, end up liking it, or if you just want to show me some Facebook love, uh, head over to my my Facebook page. It's rule, yeah, facebookcom slash photography. Um, but if you have any questions or concerns, or you want to uh, uh, give me some feedback on the preset. It would be much appreciated. Just shoot me a message on Facebook. Thank you, guys.